So, can you game on a monitor from 2005, guys? In this video, we're gonna try a monitor. In fact, my first ever. <coughs> This is my first ever flat screen monitor, but look how thick this is, right? In this video, we're gonna try and see if you can still game on it. Now keep in mind, this is not a widescreen 16 by 9. This is actually 4 by 3. Guys, this is gonna be fun. Let's get started. All right, guys, so here it is. This is actually my first ever flat screen. I remember buying this in uh, 2005 and games I was playing back then was was mainly World of Warcraft and CS 1.6. Raise your hand if you played that game. Now, before I made the choice to actually purchase a uh, flat screen, I remember I was uh, pretty stoked because uh, back then I was going to a lot of LAN power. P p p p I was going to a lot of LAN parties, and uh, since you can just grab it and just go, um, in opposite to the traditional CRT, if you guys remember that screen, who was huge. Now, let's do a comparison, now let's see. All right, so, as you can see, guys, putting it side by side with a traditional, this is a 24-inch Asus, widescreen 16 by 9 monitor that supports um, 144 hertz and uh, 1080p this is my still to this day it's my uh, main gaming monitor you can say uh i got i got a couple of other monitors i use for editing and photoshopping but this this is the one i'm still gaming on because of the 144 hertz i like when it's smooth uh that's why i'm still using it now the smaller monitor that we're gonna put to the test today now the technical details there's nothing to brag about are you sitting down we got a maximum refresh rate of 75 hertz actually and uh, a um, native resolution of 12 uh, uh, to, 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 to 1024, 1024 by uh, 1280. God damn it, I need to look this up. All right, there's gotta be a correction here somewhere because I am lying to your faces right now, guys. But other than that, there's not much else to say. This has a 4x3 ratio, which means that... Uh, Let's just say it's not as wide as a traditional HD screen, which is 16 by 9. It's a little bit wider. Well, it's a lot wider. Actually, you're gonna see that in a few seconds time, because we're gonna fire it up now. And yeah, there was a few games I wanted to try. Uh, since I'm a huge fan of GTA and Rockstar, I decided to play some GTA 5. Now, I love this game to bits and pieces but i gotta say guys as soon as i fired up the uh, yeah the samsung what is it called the sync master 730bf i was uh, a little bit disappointed gotta give uh, rockstar kudos for even supporting this resolution i was quite surprised to see by the way that every single game we tried today are um, actually able to, to run in this 4x3 native resolution that did monitor support which is to me impressive since uh, we don't see that many 4x3 monitors uh, on the market anymore <laughs> but anyway I'm not sure if the video makes uh, justice but uh, yeah compared to a uh, 24 inch widescreen it's kind of hard to wrap your head around it because your brain and your eyes is like uh, X Except the fact that, uh, well, it's a smaller screen, but still, I'm able to game on it. So, you adopt to it quite fast, but still, how do you say? Everything feels so squeezed together in a, in a way. Now the interface, everything happening around, you know, you got ammo, you got the only interface is so uh, stuck up in your face, so to speak. Everything feels so narrow. I guess that is the best way to put it, and... Uh, yeah, that's what I can say about GTA. Now, let's not even talk about the 17 inch. There's not much to say. Back in 2005, gaming on a 17 screen was not unusual at all. Guys, let me know in the comments. Were you gaming on a 17 monitor? I remember having a friend gaming on a 19 inch monitor, but that was basically it. Um, 
Anything above that was very, very unusual. Screens were a lot smaller back then, so you were basically fine by gaming on a 17-inch monitor. Today, however, this haven't aged very well. Um, it's too small. All right, it's way too small, in fact, and it looks a bit silly as well. Now, I decided to play a couple of other games as well, one of them being Rocket League, and uh, yeah, not much else to say here, guys. It's too small, but I'm at least happy to say that I was able to run the game in its native resolution. I uh, was also trying out Facebook, I was scrolling around in desktop in Windows 10 and everything looks super duper sketchy. I'll let the video speak for itself. I was watching some nature videos on YouTube, which was mindly amusing i'd say so to answer the question is a 4x3 monitor in 2000 and what year is it 2018 2019 2018 <laughs> i'd say no it's not don't go this route guys don't go back to 4x3 if you're playing csgo that is a whole different story um you can play with black borders of course but uh, it almost feels like playing on a bigger mobile screen if that makes any sense now some pros and cons with a 4x3 monitor obviously the first one it's not very heavy right so you can move it around it goes in everywhere you can put it in your car you can put it in you can even put it in your freezer i don't know it, it's super small all right it's uh, very sleek i'd say and uh, in terms of the aesthetic and its look i feel like most monitors still holds up to some degree. Um, is there any other pros to this? No, actually not. Would I recommend you investing in a 4x3 monitor from 2005? The answer is no. Now that's gotta cut it for this video, guys. Let me know in the comments. Have you used a 4x3 monitor? Have you owned one? Let me know. Share all your thoughts. I want to know, guys, what games were you playing? Yeah, as I said, I was playing a lot of World of Warcraft and CSGO 1.6. It worked flawlessly. It was a dream back then, but now... I'm sorry to say, hey 2005, you can have your monitor back, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, my name is Robin on Chips Media, until next time guys, have an awesome day, right? Bye!